Hi, I'm Anna. Abraham, Leon, and I uh, went to Tamu Theta Thon 2018, and we placed third on the learner track for our project Tacos Rule. Uh, so we're going to be talking about our project, um, how to expand a datathon project, um, and then tips and tricks about how to win uh, a datathon. Uh, so we are all the University of Texas at San Antonio students and computer science majors, and we absolutely love hackathons. And TAMU Datathon 2019 was our first datathon that we attended, um, and so we had very little data science knowledge going in. So first we'll talk about our project. And then we'll get into um, how to expand a data science project and then different tips and tricks to help you. So uh, for our project, um, our goal was to look at the tacos and burritos market. And so we took two different data sets and we were able to come up with different visualizations about um, these data sets and taco, tacos and burritos in the United States. Um, so we were able to, able to come up with things like the number of restaurants, um, that sell taco burritos in the northern versus the southern states. We even got to look into ethnicities and races, um, and the percentage in the states that sell tacos and burritos, and then even what kind of tacos um, are the most popular versus the least popular and what's all available. Uh, something really important I'd like to mention is that we were all beginners and we didn't really know too much about data science um, when we came to Tammy Day at Dawn, and so uh, we took a lot of time cleaning our data and making sure we knew it before we were able to um, really produce all these really great visuals we made. Uh, so like I said, we used two data sets, one that showed uh, restaurants that sell burritos and tacos in the United States. We used a U.S. Census and we built our project on Jupyter Notebook. Um, as far as learning goes, the Tamo Datathon team uh, made a learning module on Google Colab called Cosmos, which helped us learn uh, the, the basics for data science and data science concepts. And for pretty much everything else, we just Googled. Um, so if you want to check out our project and our code base, please feel free to. Um, here's the GitHub and the dev post uh, link to our project. So I'm going to hand it off to Leon now to talk about um, how to expand your project. Thank you, Anna. So I'll be talking about how you can expand your project. Next slide. So your first steps are to not dream big. Your first steps are to start small. And here's why. Next slide. So ambitions are a lot harder to satisfy. And so when you go with a mindset of dreaming big, it's hard to complete every single task that you set yourself out to do. So instead, ask yourself these questions. So what do I start with first? Uh, what would produce the best idea for the littlest amount of time used? And what do I want to get out of this hackathon? So these three questions cover most of your basics. Is, um, so what do you really want to learn um, is also considered like what do you really want to get out of this hackathon um, and so when we want to compare hackathons to working in the industry it's almost a sprint versus a marathon you can't have everything that you want for your hackathon uh, while you can have everything that you really want in your industry um, so next slide so now we'll be talking about how you want to extend your project and keep adding on to it. So start asking questions pertaining on what could affect the data. And these questions um, could be just about the data, maybe add more data sets. So could the data be affected by people in the district, region, or state? So for us, we used the US Census to, amp uh, to work with our current data set. And next you could try thinking about predicting so this is after you have a really good understanding of your data set. Um, so based off the data, how could I extrapolate a new city's taste for taco? Um, and then you can keep adding these small things that can be extended on from where you've finished. So for us, we added on the US Census, and we would have loved to add on more if we were given more time, but time didn't permit. Next slide. Now I'll be passing it off to Abraham to talk about the tips and tricks for the hackathon. Thank you, Leon. Okay, so I'm gonna just share some tips um, that people should know when it comes to hackathons to kind of keep you, help you be successful. And then some tricks that helped us get started uh, might, might be even help you. Help you. Um, 
speaking of getting started, if you don't know where to go, if you're a beginner the same that way that we were, um, it's, it's good to at least be familiar with the process to follow because it clearly outlines some steps for you to go from zero to, to you know, placing. Um, if you Google the OSEM model or the data science process, you'll find many graphics that'll outline this process for you. And you know, just follow the steps and you'll, you'll end up with something. The obtained step has already been taken care of for you. A lot of the challenges might come with their own data sets or some of them even already come with a Python notebook for you to just run. After that, it's just up to you to spend some time on the scrubbing and the exploring your data so that you know what you have. Um, and again, if you need to see this, this model again, just kind of Google it. I put a link at the bottom, but if you can see it anywhere. Next slide, please. Okay, so first, some tips for your data or your hackathon. Um, the first thing and really important thing to know is that nobody here is a pro. Like, don't feel intimidated talking to a mentor, because even a mentor has a lot of things to, to learn. And by helping you overcome your problem, they'll grow and you'll learn. Um, don't be afraid to ask questions. Uh, the next thing, and one thing I think is very important, is if you want to win, if you want to place, if you want to even be considered, you have to stay and you have to demo, okay? When you're working with your team and you're coming up with an idea, make sure you define a clear MVP, a minimum viable product, something that you could demo at the end. Even if it's one feature, one graph, one business point, um, if you have something to show for all the things that you've worked on, um, you have a chance at, you know, at a prize. If you're a little bit more advanced, you know, more than we were, because we just did the data science and data analysis part of the project. But if you go on and start training machine learning models, don't really worry about your accuracy. I put 90% on this slide, but in all honesty, 70 is already really impressive. Um, having anything really high or really accurate is just a really nice to have. And you should only really worry about that if you're going to be working long term on this. Um, one thing that really helped us, and I remember it helped any other, all the other teams that placed, is spend time studying your data. Um, this is a tip that I wish I could tell everyone who even touches big data, um, big data projects, because if you don't know your data, then you don't know what you could get out of it, right? If I don't know what um, currency or what unit of measure the data that I have is in, I don't know what I can convert it to or what type of um, insights I could derive from it. And then, and one thing that I should also mention that the tip to help you be successful is communication. Communication with your team is very, very important. Um, have some check-ins with each other to make sure that you're communicating blockers every two to three hours. Just, hey, where are you? And in our process to the MVP, which step are you on? And are you stuck? Let's get rid of those blockers quickly. Next slide. Thank you. So tricks, some tricks that helped us and I hope might help you if you haven't thought about it, if you're new. Um, so one thing in virtual type of work environments is having a virtual water cooler. Um, what that means is just having like a, a video chat or, or a, a video conference that's always on, always open, that you and your teammates could jump in and out of at will to ask each other questions. You know, just somebody sits there and maybe Leon will come in and be like, hey, Abraham, uh, I'm working on this, I'm stuck. And then, you, you know, we talk really quick. Um, that kind of helps with the collaboration. Next, if you don't know what tools to use, well, everyone's using notebooks these days. And if you don't want to install all these tools on your computer, Google has uh, an open source product that you can use. Google Colab will allow you to create a Python notebook to import big data, analyze it, clean it, everything. Create some models, import PyTorch, whatever you need. Next, once you have your visualizations, one thing that you could do to help make your presentation a little bit nicer is use visualization libraries that are out there. Um, I know there are some really cute ones that help you design your graphs and make them a little bit more informative. Um, I, I know Anna was trying to make ours have little tacos on them because while well, we were doing a taco product, the little taco emoji. Anyways, and then the last thing and the most important thing, I think, when it comes to, uh, to your project, um, if you want to win the trick to to even being considered in the finals is to have a good demo. And you could have the best data, the cleanest data, an amazing machine learning model that produces spectacular results. But if you can't sell this idea to people who might not be as technical as you, then they're not gonna choose you to be a finalist. So you wanna sell the dream business solution. In your analysis, what business problem did you attack and solve? Did you maximize profits? Did you minim minimize loss? Did you identify a target market? What do you, in, in our case, we found what regions were, had the least comp competition for tacos, what the average price was, 
um, and what demographics wanted our product more. Um, and yeah, so hopefully these tricks kind of help you guys out. Uh, I'm gonna open it up for questions now. Um, if you guys wanna ask us anything.